Hey, it's Adam with the Productivity Academy. Today I wanted to share how I'm getting notes off of the books Note Air 2, uh, the Kindle app specifically, but personal documents, right? So things that are not uh, purchased in the Kindle store. So maybe you've got articles, um, you've got EPUBs from different sources, whatever that might be. But when you get them on to the books, you're reading it on the Kindle app. Maybe you've sent it into yourself, however you've gone about doing that. Now you've got the highlights, you've got notes, you want to get those out of there. Uh, with your Kindle app, for me, I used to or I use uh, Readwise a lot, and so the process with that was pretty easy. I'd just plug my Kindle in, I'd grab the um, I think what is it called Documents.txt file, email it in, great, gets added to Readwise. With this, it's not so easy because I can't just plug the books in and then uh, grab that file, right? So what you can do though is go in uh, to the Kindle app go into the article, the book, the document, whatever it is, and export it from there. And instead of just talking through that, I actually did a little bit of a screen share where I recorded going through those steps. So let's jump into that now and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so what I've done is just open up a page um, on the books, uh, Note Air 2 here using the Kindle app. I'm actually going through a short form summary. And for an example, I'm just going to say, okay, maybe I want to highlight uh, the summary here. So go ahead. And so now we've actually got a highlight. That's all I'm doing in here. And there's several ways we can then go about getting the highlight or highlights off. Um, you may want to do this periodically if you're using something like I am, like Readwise, where I want to send it in and have those updated um, and sent over. In my case, I'm using Rome Research. Maybe you want things put into Notion or Evernote or whatever it is. Um, or maybe you want to wait until you're done with the book, with the article, whatever it is, and then uh, do it since this is a little bit more um, of a manual process. And again, this would be for uh, documents that are not purchased through the Kindle ecosystem that automatically sync and, and do everything automatically. What you can do is to tap up in the top area, and then we're going to come and click on the, I don't know what that's actually called, the notebook icon, I guess. And then we can see our annotations, and then of course we get the share button. Okay, we click on that, and then you export the notebook. Um, in general, I think I know for going into Readwise, I wanted to use none. I don't want to format them at all. And then we click on export. Now, what I had originally tried to do, I thought, ah, I will just use Onyx Mail and send it in and get it imported into Readwise. Um, however, it's coming from an email that is not associated with uh, my account. So that is going to work. So the next easiest thing would be to just use Google Drive, click on Drive have that added you can choose where you want it to go you can choose what accounts you want it to go into all of that um, i just do it into the base folder i guess there might be a better place to do it maybe you could create a folder called um, you know books uh, um, kindle highlights something like that if you want to be more organized about it but then i can just hop into my email from there um, and upload from google drive that's an option when adding attachments uh, in gmail and send it in uh, to my Readwise account from there, or if you need to send it somewhere else, then you've got it there and it's easily uh, to attach. So not the uh, the fastest operation, not something I would want to do all the time. And it is one by one in the sense that um, you do now need to do this per uh, book or article on the Kindle. Um, but it was nice to see that uh, I could actually get this stuff off of there um, after many unsuccessful attempts doing it other ways. So hopefully this helped you out too and help you get your highlights out of the Note Air 2 or other devices like this um, and into Readwise or wherever else you may need to get them.